Hey guys, welcome to the how to channel. Today we are going to show you how to disassemble and reassemble the mechanical pencil. We will start with disassembling it. First take off the cover, take off the eraser. Next thing is from the other side take off the writing tip and then take off the rubber part from the pencil. Next you have chuck reservoir unit which is inside of the pencil take it out gently and then inside of the chuck reservoir unit there's a small spring take it out from the other side there is a chuck with a chuck ring on it you can also take out the chuck ring from the chuck next there is a lead reservoir tube that is inside of the pencil body we need to take it out you can press it gently if it doesn't come out use the writing tip to push it down gently and it will come out on the other side take out the lead reservoir tube on the top of the lead reservoir tube there is a lead advance unit you can also disassemble these two parts and that's it regarding disassembling the mechanical pencil. Next thing what we are going to do is to reassemble the pencil. First thing we are going to reassemble the chuck reservoir. Take the chuck and take the chuck ring and put the chuck ring all the way to the chuck all the way to the end of the chuck. Now take the chuck with the ring and put it in the chuck reservoir all the way to the end also take the spring and put it from the other side into the chuck reservoir and that's it now take the lead advance unit and lead reservoir tube and connect these two together put the lead reservoir tube in the pencil body from the back side all the way where you can go next Take the rubber part, put it on the pencil body and take the chuck reservoir and put it inside of the pencil body, connect it to the lead reservoir tube. Here you have to be careful, spring must not fall out, adjust with your fingers a little bit to put it down, press it, press it all the way down so you can feel it's connected and press the chuck reservoir into the pencil to the end. Now take the writing tip and put it on the threaded end of the pencil and now you can try the pencil by pushing it from the back side. If you can hear it clicking then it's working ok. All that is left to do is to put the eraser and the cover back on the pencil. Now you can try it also a couple times to see if it's clicking. That's it. I hope this video helps you. Thanks.